Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome back. This is Centaurian Theory for the people that browsing and does not know who I am. Uh, you're my honored guest on this channel. So, today's topic, if I had three wishes, what would I wish? Have you, have you ever seen the movie Aladdin? Genie offers three wishes, but he always taught and told a lad, and any wish is pretty much cipher through what you really are within, within, pretty much. So you remember when Aladdin said, I wanted to be a prince? Make me a prince? He said, I can make you a prince and you'll be with that guy. So he said, be more specific in the detail. And it all goes back to, think about it. It was in a lad's imagination. His lifestyle was a prince. He wished to be become a prince. And it happened. But he but the most key ingredient about the wish is always significant what you already who you really are inside that makes a whole big difference I'm going to use my wishes as an example I wish if I had to think about it if you had a genie that offered you three wishes what I wish I, one of them is wish that I could be noticed more of my impromptu motivational videos across the nation, world, worldwide, so I can be able to reach millions and millions of billions of people and trying to get them to understand the possibility that they have with their choices. See, my wish it's pretty much is my goal. And since I know how to work my goal, my wish is already aligned with that. So if I was to wish and it was to come true, guess what would have happened? I already worked the wish as the goal. You see how I did that? So it's no gray area because it's automatically detailing what I wanted to do. Everybody wants to be a billionaire. You got to think about it. If someone wish, oh, I wish for a billion dollars. Why well, wish for a billion dollars? Wish it can be taken away from like that. Wish for a great idea that can land you billions of dollars. See how much detail that is? Because guess what? If you wish and he gave you just a billion dollars, either way, how the government would say, well, how did you get it? What are you going to say? Oh, I had a gene just to wish it up and don't fly with people because it's, it's really not that believable. But if you ask the genie to create something so profound in the world that w would be needed and everyone is buying it, now you have a trail of how you got the billion dollars. See the difference? All you want is some help, not something that you can just put forth. It's a big thing. So, within my gift and the wish is already planned so it can be everlasting because he said it's, a, it's, just, it's like a little sheet that is being covered over. Someone will siphon that out. But think about it. In the movie Aladdin, the, the 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 queen, the princess found him out, and Jafar found him out. He knew Aladdin was the street rat. But you know, all fairy tales has to end great. But his heart was still pure, no matter what it was. That was the significance of the movie. 
soul. And then wishing the Janet free, that was no more than an act of friendship of, think about it, if you got a friend that's in bondage, would you wish him free? Him or her? Free to, to live their life on their own terms? Or would you want to keep them bottled up? in your pocket to do your bidding at all times. That's slavery. He never, a lad never mentioned to the genie that I'm your master. The genie said, you're my master. I, I do whatever you wish. He said, he thought we was friends. So siphoning through the movies and make sure you can understand the movies are so significant in today's time. So it's a message in the movies, even though they're kid movies, it's a lot of it's a lot of good there's a lot of good things that happening in that movie to cause you to think outside the box. So stop watching movies to be entertained, but to be educated. To be informed on things. It's great. There's just like fiction and non-fiction. Non-fiction is false. Fiction is what's true. But if non-fiction is something that someone imaginary and believe, and imaginary is true, and what you imagine is true, fiction is something that's considered as law. So that's going to happen. But non-fiction is something that's automatic. It can change. It can be true if one believes it. See the difference? So everything can be altered with time. Everything can be altered. So what are you going to alter your time for? Your wish. Be careful in the wish that you perceive. So all three wishes that I had still it coexist exactly what I'm doing already. So is it really a wish or a desire? Big difference, right? Real big difference. Once you start having a burning desire by something, that's a that's a wish that's gonna come true regardless. Because you're solely thinking about the goal that you're trying to accomplish. So why are we continuing to waste time on a miracle to happen? And we have the power to create the miracle. That's the, if we just like God, God said, you of my image, you of my character. We have a will that has to be done so it will result God's will. God is so pr pronounced happy when he see us succeed in life. Something that we know we could have already done. But he don't intervene with it. He allows you to make the mistakes. He focuses you to think about the next thing in life. He have you to do that, but we, but we rarely ever look at it like that. Or why he letting us go through this? He lets you go through a storm for a reason. It's to teach. It's to enhance the ability of planning, managing all that. That's why he allows you to go through it. And then and he says, "I will not put nothing on you that you won't." or cannot bear. So the things that you're going through, it's just enough to get through. That's why as always, you feel so hurt over in the wee of the night, in the middle of the night. As soon as the sun comes up in the morning, you have a little bit of, of a lighter feeling to make you like, man, I got through it. Now, how I'm going to keep myself moving forward. So, please.
please comment down below what your wishes would be. I want to hear them. I want to see. I want to see all the subscribers, all the oncoming subscribers. What would your three wishes be? Comment down below. And if you're new and you're just browsing, please subscribe, like, leave a notification, and hit the notification bell so you can be informed on any uploads. You can be the first to have the notification come to you. Until next time, I'm out.